Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. It's another beautiful day here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains and I'm working on the garden spot. So if you tuned into the last video, we tilled up this garden spot. I'll post a link to that after this video at the very end. But what we're gonna be doing is taking smooth ground like this that we've already tilled and we're gonna hit it with a row better. And you can see right here, these are the rows. And you can see my shadow out there. Sun's about to go down, so we gotta get busy, get working. So these are rows that are bedded up. You can see one, two, three, I think there's four of them I've already done. And this is just tilled. This is the tool, and we'll talk to you a little bit more about that. So we'll see you in just a minute. We're gonna be doing some farm work, all right? Woo! I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. Guys, let me pre-apologize for the wind today. For some reason, the wind gets up as soon as I pick up the camera. It's kind of funny. So you might be looking at this like, oh man, what is all this stuff? So basically, it's a bar across the back here that has different implements attached to it. So it has a disc, it has a plow tip, plow point and it has a plow point here so on each side right here there are plow points that dig down in and bust up the soil right here is a plow point that will leave your row and typically that plow point so you see it's face backwards now typically that plow point would be turned around but I found in my experience that it actually does a better job when it's turned this direction and here you have some discs basically there are two discs right here one that you can't see and one right here and all this machine does is take a tilled up piece of land or a plowed up piece of land that's been disc and that is nice and kind of powdery and it pulls it into a row into a bed and that's basically all it does this will fit behind any kind of tractor uh, we've got it behind the Ventrac. The Ventrac tractor can do just about anything all the other tractors can do on the farm, except for it doesn't have a rear PTO. It's a mowing machine. It is a good machine for mowing pond banks and stuff like that. And also the three-point makes it ultra, ultra usable around the farm here. So we use this thing more than we use our farm tractors, believe it or not. Let's go over and we'll take a look at a row that's already been bedded up. So let's look at this real quick, directly from the rear. So you can see those two discs, there's one there, and then there's one there, and those discs basically pull all the dirt up, and then these are kind of bottom busters, I guess you'd call them. They scrape the ground along with your tire. So in other words, they're designed to follow directly behind the tire, and we had this set up for our Massey Ferguson 240 tractor, and those would go in and bust up the soil and prevent compaction behind the tire. And that's this guy right here on either side. Let's go over here and look at a row that's already been bedded. All right, so here we are. Don't ever say Stony Ridge Farmer won't get dirty for you. So what we have here are rows that are already bedded up. And basically it just takes the soil and pushes it up into a pile. And you're gonna see that in the video here in just a minute. We're gonna throw the drone up in the air. We're gonna get you some footage of this thing at work. And this makes it so much easier to plant your tomato plants, to plant your broccoli plants, to plant your anything you want to plant in your garden basically it makes the rows wide enough where you can walk through here now if square footage in your garden is a problem you can tighten that row better up just a little bit and that'll move your rows a little bit closer together but right here we have enough room to roll our wheelbarrow down through here and it's super duper awesome so these are rows that have already been bedded up let's hop on the vent track and we'll show you how it works <laughs>
All right, let's talk about articulating tractors. <laughs> you might have been able to see from the drone footage that I kind of lagged a little bit. So the way this tractor moves, the wheels don't turn, it articulates in the middle. In other words, the whole front end moves side to side. That poses a little bit of a challenge when it comes to plowing a straight row. So I've had to go over this and you can see these rows here that I've already done, let's look down this way. Those rows are just about straight as an arrow, but you can see some of the new rows that I've tilled up or plowed up right here or bedded up have <laughs> become like this. Wee, wee, wee. So what I'm having to do is basically very lightly scrape the ground with this so that it doesn't make the tail wag a little bit. So that's one of the downsides to having an articulating tractor is that it will wag and when you turn the steering wheel the rear end goes that way or that way or the front end goes that way or that way so that's just something to consider so what i'm doing is hitting it at a pretty high speed and i'm barely digging in and i'll go over each row just like i've done these rows i've gone over them four times each and i'll row bed this entire garden right here the sun is setting i wanted to get down here and show you just a little bit of what this machine is doing so here we are that disc and that disc are pulling all of this material together and this is our garden soil for this year awesome a far cry from what it was years ago so guys that's a row better that's the row better from everything attachments i'll post a link down in the video description i thought i'd do a quick short video today to show you how it worked what it does it just makes life easier for you so you can imagine when you get ready to plant your garden and you've got your rows all nice and pretty and neat it makes life easier so we can put our zucchini out here our squash out here whatever we want to plant and it's just so easy we can roll a wheelbarrow right down through here pick all the vegetables and we'll have them pretty awesome guys thanks a lot for joining me here on the stony ridge farm channel if you're not subscribed get her done get subscribed to the channel follow us on facebook and instagram and we'll see you next time on the stony ridge all right Woo! i got work to do i ain't got time to be playing with no camera I got workings, farm workings. <laughs> See you next time.